What you cooking, Roach? What ya cooking, Roach? All right, y'all. So let's get started. All right. So we got our ground beef. I got some uh, pub burgers. Um, I just decided to grab that ground beef and because uh, they was on sale because hamburger was expensive. But we got our um, onion and we got our corn and we also got our star, the green peas and carrots. Okay. So and we got a little thyme. All right, we're going to add in there. And we got our rosemary. Well, my son says, good. can't see it, mama. All right, so there you go. Let me bring back the thyme. All right, there we go. We got thyme leaf. All right, so, and we got some garlic salt. And we also got some unsalted butter. All right. And we got a little black pepper. And we got a little salt. All right, my son said, can't see it, mama. It's blurry. All right, there you go. Salt. <laughs> got four medium-sized potatoes. And we got two cloves of garlic, which we're gonna chop up, all right, and add into our meat. And we also got some tomato paste. We got a little garlic powder, powder. And we got some flour. <laughs> My son said, you're being silly, mom. All right, cut it out. All right, so we got our beef broth, all right? And I got the Swanson brand, all right? I like the brand. Okay, and we got a little olive oil. We're gonna add that in when we uh, cook our uh, ground beef. And we got some Worcestershire sauce. And we got a little half and half, all right? Now, if you don't have that, you can substitute it with milk, okay? So we got our parsley. Um, I'm sorry, Parmesan cheese. And now, let's get this meat cooked, all right? Because you know the shepherd pie is not going to cook itself, all right? Now, so, like I said, I got extra um, uh, ground beef in mine, all right? So I got like two and a half pounds, all right? So we're going to chop it up with my little fancy little meat chopper here. You can find this any online, and uh, it's not that expensive. I think it's under five bucks or something like that. I think five, or maybe seven. I don't know, but it ain't that expensive. And it just, I just, just a little toy. That's all it is, because you can chop it up with a spoon <laughs> if you don't have one. But um, I like this little chopper. It's really good when you're chopping up um, steak when you're making steak tacos or something like that too, because it cuts it up really good. All right, so we're just gonna keep chopping on that there. All right, and get that. Uh, so we can get it browned, all right? Okay, now I'm gonna add in some onion into mine too, cause like I said, ingredients are just a guideline, all right? Now I need to put some more seasoning in this here, cause you know, I know that ain't what the recipe said, but that's what I'm doing, all right? So, put a little thyme in there, and we got a little um, pepper. I have the ingredients, uh, measurements in below you guys. Um, so now I'm gonna add in this chupacabra, Seasoning. So I told you I need some seasoning in there. Now this this seasoning is pretty good. I'll uh, have uh, the name of it in my description below. I've used it before. I love their seasonings. They got uh, chicken seasoning. They got a steak seasoning. It comes from out of uh, Texas. One of my coworkers hit me on to it, and uh, this one is just all purpose. And man, I tell you, you, put them seasonings on your food, and it is fire. I, I kid you not. All right. So look, it's done. Ground uh, ground beef is uh, browned. And uh, you see those little onions in there. All right. Now, I've also chopped up that garlic also, and I've added that in here too. Okay, you guys? So, just to let you know. I might have just chopped that up. Sliced it real thin, and uh, put that in there. Now, you're going to need to pour that grease off your uh, ground beef, all right? Don't you leave that grease in there. If you do, I will come over there and beat you, all right? You don't want that. That's nasty, okay? Now. I will say I, 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 I'll keep a little bit in there <laughs> for flavoring, so I ain't going to lie, but you know when it's swimming in it, it's horrible, right, because it'll be swimming on the top um, of your food there when you uh, cook it. I'm, I'm sure it'll be all on top with this shepherd pie and it'll jack up those mashed potatoes. I, I already know. Okay, so we're going to get that out and now we're going to get started, okay? Let's put that to the side. All right, so we're going to add it in that whoosh sh 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 sauce. <laughs> I don't know why everybody say it like that. People say it like that. whoosh sauce. I know how to say it right. All right, so we're going to add in two tablespoons of that. All right, y'all. There you go. All right. Now we're just going to put that over here. We're going to get started with um, the tomato paste, all right? So, like I said, I got a little more meat than the ingredients the original recipe uh, had. So I'll probably wind up using this whole can of uh, tomato paste, but right now we're gonna start off with just um, 
three tablespoons because it's not even. I'm just spooning it out at this point and eyeing it there. All right, so we're gonna add in one more. All right, maybe another. <laughs> like I said, it's a whole can basically. So we're gonna mix that all up, all right? Okay, mix it up well, all right? You wanna make sure there isn't any chunks of the uh, tomato paste, all right? You just wanna smooth it out. See that, see how smooth that is? All right, so now we're gonna add in this flour. Now, my guess is that this flour is um, uh, gonna help you thicken, all right? So we're gonna add in that broth. That's right now, I'm starting out with a cup of beef broth. I probably need to add in a little more since I have a little more meat than uh, the original recipe called for, okay? So we're gonna blend that in. Mm. I'm pretty excited, guys. How about you? I'm excited about making the shepherd pie myself, all right? I was gonna buy it, but you know, I try it myself. It's easy, just follow the instructions. All right, like I said, I needed to add in some more of that beef broth, all right? We're gonna stir it up, because it was a little thick. I don't think it was should have been that thick, all right? That was almost like chili thick, <laughs> so. All right, now we're going to add in those frozen vegetables. Here's the star of the show. One of them. <laughs> the meat is the first star. All right, so we're going to scrape that in there. All right, because it's frozen. They stick into the bowl. All right, we're just going to blend that all in well, too, okay? Mix it in really well. Wow, that's looking pretty good. Man, all right. I see what you're doing here, Mr. Shepherd Pie. All right. All right, so we're gonna fill these potatoes because we got to get the mashed potatoes started, all right? So, I like to fill my potatoes like this, by hand, by the OG way, okay? You can use that fancy pillars or, you know, that you have, but that take too long for me. I've tried it, okay? So, cut it just like so, but this takes years of practice. You, you beginners, you just don't be picking up no knife trying to cut potatoes like me and cut your thumb off or cut yourself. You don't be coming after me talking about you was trying to do what I was doing, all right? So, <laughs> just be careful. All right, practice. All right, I ain't saying don't do it, but you, you, it takes practice, okay? So we're just gonna finish cutting up a, cup, um, a few of these. All right, my grandmother taught me how to cut potatoes like this. And um, I've been cutting them like this ever since, and it's been years, all right? Let's say I've been cooking since I've been 12, all right? So let's get these potatoes boiled. Now, of course, got to add in some butter, all right? So. I'm going to put maybe like two tablespoons in here. I'm going to plop that mug right in there. All right. So, I'm going to let that boil so we can get these potatoes tender. I think they're about there now. All right. So, uh, what I do here is you want to test it with a fork to tenderness. Do a little stir and do it that way too to see where it's at. And uh, like I said, you want to test it out to tenderness. Use a fork. I'm using a knife because I didn't have a fork next to me. <laughs> It's tender, they ready, they ready. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get them mashed up, okay? All right, so I got me some butter again. Hey, it's a whole stick, but it's unsalted. All right, see, unsalted, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's gonna, it's gonna be good. All right, All right. so you wanna mash them up. I've been making mashed potatoes for a long time. I think I've made mashed potatoes over a hundred times in my life. All right, so we're gonna mash that in there. I'm gonna get you a nice masher. I've had this masher for a while. I think it was my grandmother's. And, um, I, cause I, 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 I've never re remember not having it, you know? So, so we're gonna um, get in that garlic salt. That's why we didn't need any salt in the butter, all right? Let me shake them ingredients up. You wanna shake your ingredients up in your seasonings if they've been sitting for a while, all right? So you can jewel them uh, seasonings together. So we're gonna pour about, yeah, I got about a half tablespoon um, in there. Uh, of course, you're gonna add in some uh, our half and half. Like I said, if you don't have half and half, you can certainly use milk, all right? It'll do the same thing, okay? All right, so we're gonna get that in there. I may need to add a little bit more. Like I said, the ingredients are just a guideline. I don't know how, how often I can say that. You know, you just kind of taste your food as you're going. Now, so I mean, you know, if you want to do a recipe precise and you just want to do that particular recipe, I'm not. You certainly can do that. All right, I've done that too. All right, dang, this looks good. All right, see them colors. All right, y'all, we're gonna plop them thick mashed potatoes down up on there. Wow mashed potatoes are fire. Oh, I forgot to mention, y'all, I put in some of that Parmesan uh, cheese into the eggs, which, uh, I'm sorry, to the mashed potatoes, too. All right, 
I didn't show you all that part. So those, those were that was part of the why we had the Parmesan cheese that goes into the mashed potatoes. All right, so you just want to plop them down on there like so. Um, and I think I used about a half a cup or so of my uh, mashed potatoes. All right, so we just want to smooth it out, smooth it out, y'all, smooth it out. All right. Well, oh, man, these mashed potatoes are fire, man. All right. Smooth it out. I think maybe I might need a little more, but I think we're gonna be good. Man, this looks really good. I could just eat just like this, but uh, the meat ain't done yet. <laughs> it needs to cook a little more. All right, so y'all see what we're doing there? Now we're gonna get this in the oven. I got my oven at 355. Um, it, and we're gonna get this in the oven and we're gonna let it cook until it starts bubbly, about 30 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. All right, y'all, it's done. Woo! Look at it there. Boy, that's bubbly. Man, that looks good. See? That's why you cook stuff yourself. I ain't had no fancy, I ain't had no pie pan, but this pot is doing the most for it. Oh, don't worry about that mac that lobster macaroni and cheese in there. Man, look at that. That's beautiful. All right, I sprinkled a little Parmesan flakes on top of there. Oh, oh, we cutting in that. Boy, that looks, man. So I said, whoa, <laughs> it smells really good, y'all. I'm going to have a better picture of what it looks like inside there, y'all. I got so excited, so check that out. But, man, this is fire. I thought I didn't have enough potatoes, but I do. All right. Mm. Man, it looks good. I needed a bigger bowl, my bad. <laughs> I'm so excited about this, y'all. All right, there you go, y'all. All right, my shepherd pie is ready and done. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. All right. Until then, you guys, what you cooking, Roach? Bye. What you got going on up in the kitchen, Roach? She got some collard greens, some black eyed peas.